Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Wednesday the 21st of February. It's hump day, middle of the week. Uh, we've got two updates on console and a few mods. But that being said, the first update, part of the update, is console release. So technically, it's a new mod on console. The second one is an update. But I don't ever remember reviewing it. It might have been one of the times I was away on a holiday or something like that. It doesn't say console release, so I'm going to show it anyway. Like I say, I don't remember, but they're, they're both the updates. But I'm going to show them anyway, so I don't need to read them out. I'll put a picture on the screen. We're going to start off with this one. This is the WIFO BP series by Dutch Modding Inc. 3.89 megabytes download, three slots each. We've got, this, I say a single silage fork. It's not a uh, silage fork. Um, bale spike. We can have it higher as well, and the difference between the two is this one is a standard fork, and you can have it for a single bale or three bales, it has a support. Um, they're not auto load, and then the second one has got grabs around the side. So again, I think this one it's only a three bale, and we can have grabs around the side that grab it. Um, that's the difference between the two. You'll find them under front loader tools, so we go along to there. So they've got the BP series, 650. Uh, slot count of three comes down to one. So we've got the BP3 or the BP5. That's the amount of tines you've got in there, three or five. Uh, and then we've got default or with rack, which gives you the support for three bales. And you could probably get away with four. It's designed for three, I think. Um, and then you've got front loader attacher, telehandler, wheel loader or skid steer loader attachments, depending on what you want to put it on. But that can also be changed whenever you want. If you've got a workshop, toolbox, something like that, if you change your mind or you've got different, different pieces of equipment, you can change it. Uh, the second one, slot can also comes down to one. And like I said, this one starts with the grabs on the side and it's three three bales high. Again, we've got the BP3, BP5 for the amount of tines and the same attachments on this one as well, including skid steer loader, which is pretty cool. So one on skid steer. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, that in itself is it's a bale spike, you know. It spikes your bells, you pick them up, you put them down, drop them in wherever you're going to go, job done. The other one is the one with the grab. We'll start that one up. So all of the usual movement on whatever you're using it with. But um, R1 and right stick side to side moves those grabs in. So when you've got your bales, just got to level it up a little bit. Go in and then do the grab holds onto those two top bales I mean to a degree they're not falling off but there's going to be a limit to how much you'll get away with but it does grab them it grabs them pretty well in all honesty it's not a bad bit of kit and as I was saying to Mrs Silly P we were talking about mods generally about stuff that kind of gets overlooked or not ignored but you kind of take it as well, yeah well it's a bale spike or yeah it's a shed or yeah no the detail and the time and energy that's gone into it, you know, it, you know, it's, they look like bolt heads. It looks like the hydraulics are there. Everything's there. It's very easy to skim over these things and, and act like it's a very normal, easy thing. Anyway, Wi-Fi BP series by Dutch Modding Inc. Next. We've got this. Like I say, this is the second update. The first was console release. This one doesn't say console release, but I don't remember reviewing it, so I'm going to review it anyway. This is the Lizard Mobile Workshop by JD Modding Org. Um, 7.57 megabytes download, 22 slots on console. This is a required mod that come with it, and that's the Schultz Modding Toolbox, which I use quite a lot anyway. And that's why I don't remember. I don't remember this at all. It's a trailed workshop in essence. Um, you know, you can throw toolboxes and there's various different mods out there. Having a mobile toolbox, people have said about having the various different pickups and stuff, it's trickier to do. This is designed to solve that problem. This you will find... I think it was under miscellaneous, I want to say. There we go. 12,000 to buy. We've got option of main colour. Anything on that palette does that. Then we've got design colour, which, as you've guessed... Does the design and then rim color doesn't take a rocket surgeon does the rims there we go those are your options and then what we'll do start this up unfold the tipper which opens the sides up to give you your workshop lighting on this is automatic at night the ladder comes down 
and you've got all your stuff in here for a mobile workshop, which is pretty cool. I, I think it's brilliant. And so you've got lighting on there, and it does. I'm sure it says the lighting is automatic, but the shorts modding toolbox is this here. This is a separate mod. Oh, that's interesting. It's not letting me pick. Oh, there we go. Um, so these little hazard marked lines here is where you're supposed to put the toolbox in transit. And then what you do, he says, there we go, pick it up. You put that down, if you haven't used this before, um, and you put your vehicle, wherever it is, in front of the two clips on the front, and then you can access your, bit, your workshop menu to do any work you want to do. But the beauty of this is, I'm going to test this because I'm not sure. <laughs> if you put it in this way, not the other way, and put it between those two hazard marked lines, what should happen is when I drive away now, that shouldn't move, that should stay in that location. Now, the only thing with this, when you buy the Schultz Modding Toolbox, and this is what you need to be aware of, when you buy it, you buy it as a placeable, and you put it down wherever you want it to on the map. That's where it will always reset to. So when you save your game, it will reset to that location. So even if you've put it in the back of this trailer, even if you've driven across the map, you might have saved your game because you were doing some work on something. When you come back, the trailer will be there, but that will be back in its reset point. So you'll need to put it back into the trailer for whatever you're going to do. So my advice would be, wherever you want your toolbox to have its main home, that's where you want to place it in the first place, because that's where it will always go back to. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to try, I don't say. <laughs> It seems to be shifting around a little bit. I'm going to drive around. I hope it's still there. Hasn't bounced. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as it doesn't come out of the trailer, I'm not too bothered whereabouts inside the trailer it is, but it's supposed to stay in that in that place. That's a bit of a bump. I and mean, we'll see now, won't we? We've given this a bit of a jolt around. So, um, <laughs> the moment of truth, I suppose. Like I said, because I use the shorts one, that's what makes me think it might have been one of the times I was on a holiday or something like that, and I, I missed it didn't review it oh look at that and it's still there that's cool and then we just need to get to a point where we can pick it up he says there we go i like that that's pretty cool that's very cool the lizard mobile workshop by jd modding arg next we've got this where is it over here this is the krona swadro TC930 by ARM team, 5.76 megabytes download, 5 slots on console, 9.3 meters wide. It is a windrower. You will find it in that location. Just there, 33 grand slot account comes down to 1. 70 horsepower required. We've got the option of a Trelleborg with a standard, hang on, and a wide. Let's go back to there. Why is it not? Let me zoom out. Hmm. We've got Mitus. That's strange. There we go. That's better. We've got Mitus. Is it just those? Mitus and Trellable. Done it again. There's a couple of mods that have got tyre options. I thought there were more options than that. I'm thinking of the Crescetto Major spreads we're going to have a look at in a little while. So Mitus and Trellable. Those are our two options. Mitus just has that. And... Trelleborg has the standard and a wide. There we go. You've got with beacon or without beacon. So you don't have a beacon if you don't want to. Main colour, you've got a slight change in the green. So you've got the Krona green, which is a yellowish green. Or it's not quite khaki. Or there's a more green green. Very little difference between the two. Then design colour, we can have more of a yellow on the tines or a faded yellow. Rim colour, anything on that palette at all. And then licence play option on there too. So, let's start this up, unfold it, and we can extend them out either side. So this is one of those options that, yeah, if you've come to a space that's narrower, or your windrow doesn't need to be as wide, or you know, you've just got more manual adjustment. On the real ones, that's the case. You have more adjustment on them. So we have got adjustment on either side, if you want it. Which will bring it in from 9.3 metres to make it narrower. Turn it on. Drop it down. So 
if I just bring that in now. And bring that side in. There you go. It does the job. Which is kind of what you need from your windrower. As if it windrows, then it's a win. The Krona Swadro TC930 by ARM Team. Next, we have got the Farm Silo Grain Liquid. Which is this. Right here. This is by Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuilds Team. 4.84 megabytes download, 10 slots on console, 241,000 to buy. This will hold 980,000 litres of liquids and it will hold 1,486,000 litres of grains. There is a list, um, I hope I remember to do this, there's a list in the mod description of all the things it will hold because it won't hold everything. But it does also hold some of the productions, things like honey and sugar and cheese and butter and bread. And So what I'm going to do, if I remember, I'm going to take a screen grab of that and that will be up on the screen now. So you can pause it and you can have a look at that and see all the things that it will take. What I have put in it at the moment, I've got some wheat, 150,000 litres. It will do parsnip, carrot, red beet. So I've got some red beet in there. I've got canola oil and I've got milk in there. So it will do a selection of liquids and solids due to a clever lined construction, pressurised vessel. It's all in the description. It's very cleverly done. But it is very nicely made. Plenty of room for loading and unloading. Putting in there, taking out, done from here. Under build mode, under silos is where you'll find it. Right there. And the slot count will come down from 10 to 1. There's no colour options or anything like that. You get it just like that for 241 grand. And to be fair, because it will hold multiple things up to those limits. I say up to those limits. 1,486,000 litres of grain type crops. Even for that price, doing liquids as well. I think it does forage stuff as well. I'm pretty sure it does um, grass, hay, straw, wood chip. Um, yeah, forage, a whole load of stuff. So you can put tons of things in it. Wonderful. The Farm Silo Grain Liquid by Scandinavian Vikings Mod Rebuilds Team. Next up, we've got the small garage. Just here. This is by P.T. Rolnik. This is 10.14 megabyte download, seven slots, 40,000 to buy. This was the original thing we were talking about, myself and Mrs. P, about the detail. And I always say that about sheds and stuff. It's easy to overlook. It looks very much like the shed we had the other day. But the detailing on the door with the slats going that way, the rust on the hinges and the, you know, the locking mechanism and the brickwork and the mortar between and the roof and... It, you know, it's fantastic. Build mode and sheds is where you'll find this one. Right there, slot count will come down from 7 to 1. As I said, 40,000 to buy. So there's two separate sections with the wall between the two. The light option will do the lights both sides. If I turn off shed lights, it's turning them off that side as well. But we have got the option in here as well. So you can turn them on or off either side. But it will do both sides. They are not independent that's the small garage by P.T. Rolnick. Next, we've got this. This is the bunker silo with roof. It's by Yamo. 0.31 megabytes download, five slots on console, 45,000 to buy. This, when you place it, will only place at 90 degree angles, not full rotation. Something to be aware of. I've put 300,000 litres in this, and it's <laughs> it's barely touched the sides. I reckon this will go up to maybe a 1.2 millilitre, maybe even a 1.5. But something to be aware of, and always to be aware of, with covered silos, is that when you fill it up to the top, there's not a lot of room between here and these beams to get a vehicle in here to compact it. So it's something to be aware of. Um, it looks fantastic. The other thing I checked by putting 300,000 litres in here was to see if we had any clipping through the walls, which sometimes you get on silos. There's none at the sides and none at the back, which is pretty cool. What I do like about this one as well, and again, this is not specific to this one, but I'm, this is what I'm looking at. So this is what I'm showing you. And the build mode and silos is where you'll find it, and it's right next to the one we just looked at. There we go. 
slot count comes down to one, 45 gram. When we come to place them, these will actually interlock so that normally when you've got where it says toggle free mode on the left up to the top, it will give you it will give you a warning saying, like if we go to here, it won't let you place it, overlaps with another object. This one's designed to lock in like that. Oh, what's come up? Didn't come up with that before. I think it's, there we go. Do that, and it's interlocked into the next one. Come with the next one along, and the next one, and keep going. I like that. That's pretty cool. With a seamless roof across the top, and you can just keep adding them in. Very nice indeed. The bunker silo with roof by Yamo. Next, we have got the all but silage fork. Just here. Uh, this is by Morris3001, Rick Black Label TWD modding, 4.04 megabytes download, four slots on console with an 8,000 litre capacity. You'll find this under wheel loaders. It is a wheel loader silage fork. This bit around here is for transportation, so you don't spike anybody or anything whilst in transit. When you unfold that, these bits will disappear. So as I said, you'll find it under wheel loaders. It's just there, 10,500. Slot count comes down to one. Options on this, we can change the main colour and the design colour. This is for those supports you can see at the moment and the outside bits. We can change the main colour of those, like that, to anything on that palette. And then design colour does the rest of the tines, like that. Again, anything on that palette. Those are our options. So, start this up. Unfold it. As I said, they will disappear when it unfolds. 8,000 litre capacity. Silage fork. Actually, it's something I was meant to, I, I was meant to check. Is that um, it's not just when it says silage fork, it's a forage fork. So it will do manure, it will do straw, hay, that kind of stuff as well. It's not just for um, for silage. But, and at the end of the day, the fork is the fork. It folds, it unfolds. It's the vehicle it's attached to that's got all the motion and movement on it. But with 8,000 litre capacity, a very handy bit of kit. I'm going to fold that back up so I don't spike myself. Sort of thing I would back into. You know what I'm like. That's the All But Silage Fork by Morris 3001 Rick Black Label TWD Modding. Next, we've got this. Now, this is a decorative object, but it's quite cool. This is the Chemicals Cabinet by JMZ. 1.82 megabytes download, three slots on console. You'll find it under build mode and under tools, which made me say, think, that's odd. I wonder if it's got... um. A capacity or something as far as I can tell it hasn't the description doesn't say it has um, we can change the color like that of the doors on the front so we can scroll through and change our colors if we want to um, and then we get to it we can open the gate which does that now I have put inside this a little silage additive drum there are various different fuel canisters, fuel drums, silage additive. There's all sorts of stuff like that. So, and I know for me personally, on Alma, I've got these scattered all over the place. I've bought one, used it, haven't finished it, and left it somewhere. I've got one in a shed. I've got one over by the store. I've, you know, So, in all honesty, having something like this is actually pretty cool for putting things like this into because you know that when you come back, that's where it is. That's where you put it. That's where it's going to be stored. And you go back to your chemicals cupboard and you get your stuff back out when you want to. Now, it does say decorative. I'm just going to double check something. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't a capacity. There is a mod by JMZ um, that's got silage additives and stuff, hasn't it? It's got the little pots and it's got drums and there's that it's for that kind of thing but it, I, I like it i think it's very cool a very simple very basic standard thing but very useful chemicals cabinet by jmz which means you want to last on the mods for today and it's over here while i'm walking over we do have a new map out today no i say that we have a map out on console today it has an update and part of the update for that is console release and it's dutch fantasy land it says Dutch Fantasy Land, and then on the thumbnail it says Dutch Fantasy. So, either one of those. Um, so, the update is console release. It's by Northeast Modding, uh, 192.39 megabytes download. There are 10 required mods, I think, that come with it that would just downloads automatically. I will get on to having a look at that later on today. I've made all the prep today, but it may not post till tomorrow morning. It depends how long. 
Not that it's going to be a particularly complicated one, but I'll see. I will try my best to get onto it as soon as possible. So, the final mod for today. We've got the Crosetto SVL Pack by DD Mod Passion. 34.27 megabytes download. These are five slots and six slots. There are quite a lot of them in different sizes with some different options. This may get an update. Only, I'm just saying this because a couple of things I've checked didn't appear to be working in the menu. Um, but I could be wrong. It could be just the menus generic across all of them. Um, I didn't want to say they are all exactly the same because they're not. But a lot of the options are the same. These are muck spreaders. These are side spreading muck spreaders. And they start at a 4,000 litre and go up to, this is a 20,000 litre. So various different sizes, capacities. We've got different hose options. We've got all different choices. We've got axle options and things like that. I think this one, the larger one, is the only one that's got a rear bumper option. But we will go through and have a look at the few, a few of the different options in the menu. But it is a manure spreader. So that's where you will find them under manure spreaders. So, as I said, fives and sixes are the slots. We start there with the SVL 40. As I said, 40,000, uh, sorry, 40,000, 4,000 litres. Only 40 horsepower required on that one. Now, this first one, I'm going to show you one of the options on this. We have got wheel brand options, and I'm not going to go through all the wheel brands or the wheel types. There aren't many. We've got Lizard, Michelin, BKT, Trelleborg, and back again. So there's a couple under Lizard, Michelin, a couple of different tyre choices, BKT, just that, and then Trelleborg, we've got a couple of options as well. And that's throughout all of them. So I'm not going to go through and show you all the different tyre choices. There are a few different tyre choices within those. Um, I'm going to show you on this one, but under... Brand colours, we've got the Crosetto colour, this is the outer section. We've then got Case, Class, Deutzfar, Fent, Fent 2, JCB, John Deere, Kubota, Landini, Massey Ferguson, McCormick, New Holland, Steyr, Valtra, Zator, Black, and then back to Crosetto. Name, this is Numbers. Down at the chassis, this side and this side, I'll show you this side, we've got Numbers, one through nine and then letters the entire alphabet so we go right the way through till we get to nine we start at a and if we go back the other way we will finish on z or z depending on where you're from so you can number them if you have multiples of them but you don't have to have it on there we've got attacher type we've got a ball hitch or pin hitch on the front you've got power takeoff is yellow or black this is the same in all of them air hose spiral or not spiral spiral I say straight, it's probably the wrong way to say it. Now, this one, you see that arched bit over the, say, fan or the blade at the front? You've got cover, yes or no. Okay, remember that, cover, yes or no. We've then got type of license plate. So you can have the map, or you can have an Italian license plate, because Crosetto are an Italian company. Um, now, there's no option on this for hydraulic door. We've just got the cover option, yes or no. We've then got our colours. So our hub colour is the first one. We can change our hub colour. Sides, so this is just the other bits to what we've already seen change. So the inner panels, we can change colour. Then we've got rim colour, any one on here, like that. Now that's the same in all of them. And then a licence plate. So if I go to the next one along, all the options are the same. We come down to here until we get to this, and it says hydraulic side door. Now the first one didn't have that. This has got hydraulic side door, yes or no. So you can take that on or off. Then it says, has it got the, yeah, so cover yes or no. If I change that, nothing changes. On the first one, you had that arched cover that could be removable. So I thought, okay, well, maybe you need to take that hydraulic door off and then you can have the cover on and off. Nothing changes. So I don't know whether that's intentional or whether that should be, there should be a cover that comes on or off. It, it, it's, nothing's changing. I did it with hydraulic door, without hydraulic door, but I just thought I would make you aware of that. And that seems to be the same as we work our way through the options on all of them. Again, this one's got the hydraulic door. And if I get down to that option, all the other options are the same. Uh, like I said, we've got hydraulic side door, yes or no. But this one doesn't have the option for cover. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, it may get an update. I'm not 100% on that. If we get up to the very largest one, options are all the same, but this one does have an extra option, which says rear bumper, yes or no. 
I'm going to go down to the one below that because I don't think that had it. Attach a type. No, it's only the very largest one that has the bumper option. So I think that covers all the options throughout them. Uh, this is the same hydraulic side door, but no option for cover. So it only seems to be on the smaller sizes. The option is there, although it doesn't seem to be working other than the very first one. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I've gone for the largest of them, of course. We start this up. Now, something else I will say. <laughs> just be very careful. This has a tendency to want to tip over. And at quite low speeds. It has a front and rear steer axle on this one. But I found it didn't take a lot for it to want to go over. Um, suspension is a bit of suspension movement on those axles as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but again, just don't corner at high speed, especially when full. Just take your time and you'll be fine. You should be okay. Um, we do have the option to activate double application rate. Um, we open the hydraulic door because it won't turn on. If I try and turn it on now, it says you need to unfold, which is opening the side door. So if we open the door first, so that hydraulic door will open. Or close. Then we turn it on and the blade at the front should spin and flick it all out to the side. Oh, that's what I didn't say. I'm so sorry. Um, or spread widths. I didn't say them, did I? On the smaller ones, 6 metre, 7 metre, 7 metre, 7 metre, 10 metre, 10 metre. Then we got to 12, 12. Now, something I couldn't work out, again, there's going to be an obvious setting. And I'm looking at the designs of them. We've got the 160 and the 160G. Price is the same. Horsepower requirements are the same. Capacity is the same. Everything seems to be the same. Oh, hang on. No. There we go. 10 metre spread width. 12 metre spread width. It looks like that's it. Just the spread width. As far as I can tell. There we go. Solve that mystery. Brilliant. So I'm turning this on now. Don't think we can adjust that, can we? Can that adjust the trailer? Better turn that off a second. I do like that animation, that's pretty cool. I just wasn't sure if we could adjust the angle so we could get the spread further out. But it looks about 12 metres, doesn't it? That's pretty good. I do like that animation. That is pretty cool. Let's turn that on again. that out with some force isn't it anyway probably get mesmerized just watching that that's the Crosetto SVL pack by DD Mod Passion that's it for the mods for Wednesday 21st of February hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching